So we've talked about before that what makes good code a lot of times comes down to does the code do what it's supposed to do? Does it accomplish a task? And does it accomplish the task in as few lines of code as possible or as little data possible? Because what that does is it makes it easier for the computer to read it and it can read it faster and then your program will run faster. So one thing we're going to look at here on code.org is comparing the different ways that you guys have come up with to solve different problems. And from time to time on these different assignments, we're going to pause and do a little quick discussion board where you compare your code, what you came up with, with what somebody else came up with, and see if you can see a different way to accomplish the same thing, or maybe learn something about how to maybe write slightly more efficient code. So I'm going to put this same video for all of these different discussion assignments, but the example I'm going to use is this first one, Lesson 6, Step 6. For each of these discussions, you're going to see which lesson you need to go to and which step you need to go to to take a screen snip that shows your entire code that you came up with. So for example, if I were doing this one, Lesson 6, Step 6, I'd go here and I'd go to Lesson 6, Step 6, right here. Now I haven't actually done this one on this account right here because I'm not trying to reveal the answer to this code. But once you're here and once you're completely done with the um, code and you've totally solved the problem, even if it's a light green circle, which means you've just used more code than you're maybe supposed to, but that's okay. Even if it's a light green circle or a dark green circle, as long as it's done and working, take a screen snip of the entire space. So what we'll do is open up the snipping tool and when you take your snip, you're going to take a snip of the whole window because you want to make sure that it's really clear that you have both lesson six, lesson six, step six, and then your solution to your code. And then you'll go to file, and then you go save as, and then probably put it on your desktop or somewhere that makes sense, like lesson, lesson six, step six. I'm going to save it. So now it's saved on my desktop. So then I go back and I'm going to reply. So I'm going to hit reply. And then here's how you get your picture here. Click this little picture icon. Click Canvas. And this is the key. you got to click My Files. When you do that, Upload File becomes something you can click. You click that. And then go to wherever you saved it. Lesson 6, Step 6 for me. Right here. And then you're going to update it. And then you're going to post your reply. When you do you're going to see that you can see everybody else's different answers there too and you can go look and compare what you did with what other people did and try to figure out if anybody found a better way to do it or maybe you found the best way to do it or if anybody just found a different way to do it so take a look compare your code have fun looking and then go on to the next step